spices and chili, onion, and garlic. Um, how how do you feel about them? And yeah, because they're often promoted as like health foods. Yeah, I think it's very strange how they're promoted as health food because if one is healthy and doesn't eat them and tries to eat them, they will feel absolutely ill, rotten, mm. flu like. Um, garlic is a known poison. If you get it into the bloodstream, it's very dangerous. If you get it into a cut, you'll feel the ramifications of the garlic. I think this is why it's so important to go through a, a period of abstinent, abstaining from these food groups. They're nervous system stimulants, so they become very addictive. You tend to crave them. But what happens is when they stimulate the nervous system so much, they can also kill the neurons as well. So you're creating less of a vibratory connection with the neurons. If you have chili, for example, what's the first thing you notice at the back of your throat? It's like intense amounts of mucus. Yeah. Like real thick saliva starts to form mm, a lot yeah. of mucus. So what the reverse world of science has done, it says this helps with your immune system. What it does, it triggers the immune system because the body doesn't want it inside of it. But science says this is good for the immune system because it's activating the immune system. Mm -hmm. Almost like a vaccine, you know. Yeah. They yeah. say they create the immune system to be stronger, but really you're just practicing fighting that virus off anyway. And if you just waited to have it, it doesn't make mm -hmm. sense. Plus, again, all of the other elements that's inside of them that are not very good for the body. So I would say it's the very same thing. Onions are probably the best out of all of those food groups. They can be mm. tolerated. When they're raw, they can be quite toxic, but cooked, they tend to convert and be quite quite sweet, you know. So if you had to have any of the three to keep your food flavorsome, go with the onion, but still they're all nervous system stimulants. And what goes up must come down. If you're enjoying the video this far, you'll like my free community full of like-minded people looking to get fit, vibrant, healthy, lean, happy, you name it, energetic. Yeah, so I'll leave that top link in the description. Enjoy the rest of the video and eat your fruit, baby. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And I guess the same could be said for caffeine. And oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> cacao, that's also a stimulant, isn't it? Are there any other yeah. you can think of that are like... Well, we move, we move to carob for our yep. chocolate flavor mm -hmm. and you don't notice any different mm. you know you might in the first week or two but you don't notice any different and also where where carob is a, is a sugar it's not a fat you'll notice that when you mix sugars and fats you can spike insulin and and mm. then fat can be pushed to the cells so you can actually acquire a certain amount of body fat when you're having like, dates and carob together to make that chocolate flavor you're just having the sugar, which we're not calling it sugar. You're having the natural sugar, which the body wants. It's your primary source of fuel without the fat. So you won't get fat as such. So you can eat more of that than you would if you added in the, the uh, cacao.